Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events, and it is Thursday, September the 4th. I'm recording this at around 7.30. It has been too long since I've done one of these videos. The weather has just been super quiet lately, but guess what? Yeah, it's about to get good. Uh, we're about to get into some active weather where we're, the, the cool air is coming, the refreshing fall nights. It, you know, no, no, there is no guarantee in weather until after it happens or it is happening, uh, in my opinion. But all the data has been pointing towards late next week, seeing a very strong cold front coming into uh, Arkansas. What you're seeing here uh, behind me is the uh, European model. Uh, the ECMWF is what it's, uh, uh, the model is official name, but called the Euro. Uh, but I'm going to go through this because it's been showing this. Now, here we are, and it's, it was in the 90s today. Uh, let me look and see the average high temperature. Hold on one second. I've, I've got, uh, you want to check it out, the Arkansas weather app on the iPhone and on Android. Today is the 4th. The average high is 90 degrees today, and it was much warmer than that. Now, uh, you know, when we're talking about the towards the end of next week, the average high uh, goes down towards the end of next week to 86 degrees. I think we're going to be well below the averages by the time we go into the end of next week, there's a very good chance for that. So uh, without any further ado, let's talk about the cold air uh, and the, uh, let's just go, we got a frontal boundary, as you know, coming through this weekend. Uh, but you can already see signs. This is, whoops, sorry about that. Let me just get a time here. This is uh, Wednesday morning of next week. And do you see these black lines? These are isobars lines of equal barometric pressure. And you see how they're closely spaced together? Well, there's a sharp pressure difference that's occurring as the difference between lower pressure and higher pressure coming out of Canada. And there's the leading edge of the cool air. You can see these faint gray lines. Those are wind arrows signifying the wind direction at the surface. And there's convergence here where there's a southerly wind, basically what's going on, convergence at the surface is creates, helps create rain along that frontal boundary. Northerly winds meet southerly winds. You get the clash of the air masses here. Uh, that 540 line's coming back, which is usually the, a good indicator of the rain snow line. You can see it's getting into Montana. Well, they're gonna have some snow. It's not coming this far south, folks, not yet. It will, but not yet. But anyway, uh, so this is the leading edge uh, by next Wednesday of some very nice air. Now, it the, the, the uh, European, I'm just looking at this, this is the, the morning run, develops a wave of low pressure along this. And let me check the time on this. Uh, this is Thursday morning. Uh, and wave of low pressure, frontal boundary, and the cold air is lagging up here. You can see these are thicknesses, which is indicating here this 540 thickness. You got some pretty chilly air for this time of the year coming down the plains, and that's going to make its way into the Mid-South. And where we had this, like I said, it's going to get active, where we had this convergence, you had that surface low pressure developing along that frontal boundary right here. Uh, that's where you're going to get some rain and you're going to get some thunderstorms. Uh, but it does appear that that's not going to last all that long. I'm out to 192 hours, which is next Friday morning, the 12th of September, which, by the way, is close to the anniversary of Ike hitting uh, Arkansas. That's also on the uh, Arkansas weather app, by the way. But anyway, the 1032 high uh, coming out of Canada, and that comes down out of the plains. And look at this. I mean, that's just some, cold, I say cold, chilly air for this time of the year. Frontal boundaries past Arkansas, and it's funneling in uh, these cooler temperatures here. And that frontal boundary and all the rain is pushed on off towards the south. So now you're saying, well, how cold, Todd? Well, thankfully, I have the uh, European model here. This is off of weatherbell.com, a fantastic website. Uh, but uh, this is just showing you snapshots. This is not showing you highs and lows, but this is only giving you a snapshot every six hours. And this is next Wednesday morning. You can see widespread 70s still on Wednesday morning. Uh, and you can already see the effects of the rain in the frontal boundary by noon, uh, where we're in the 70s across northern Arkansas. I'm sorry, this is at 1 p.m. in the afternoon next Wednesday. It's showing, again, this is, don't take this literally, it's going to change, but this shows you the rain-cooled air uh, up here into uh, northern Arkansas and southern Missouri, where it's in the 70s. But look at southern Arkansas, it's going to be in the lower 90s. Now, like I said, don't take this literally. The timing of this and how it all plays out can still change. What if the front's still up here? Uh, then everybody's in the 90s. What if it's faster? Then we're, you know, bringing in the cooler air a, a lot quicker than thought. Uh, so that's at 150 hours. Let's just go, again, we're looking at snapshots here. 
this is a Thursday morning at 7 a.m. It's 75 degrees. Uh, you can see the 40s and the 50s up in Kansas. Uh, but here's the thing. This is by 1 p.m. on Thursday, uh, September the 11th. And everybody's in the 70s and early in the afternoon with that cooler and drier air coming in. Uh, it stays in the 70s, according to this, all day next Thursday, or maybe some lower 80s. Remember, this is just showing you a snapshot, not highs and lows at, at, certain, at every six hours. Here's Friday morning, and it's got lows in the 60s and 50s up north. Uh, at noon, it's got, high, uh, it's got temperatures, I keep saying noon, it's at 1 p.m. It's got temperatures uh, in the mid-70s. Yeah, for uh, that, I mean, it, you, I'm not saying highs, but when you have a 1 p.m. temperature on September the 12th of 74 degrees, it's not getting up to 90. Uh, you'll be lucky to get into the lower 80s at that point because the heating of the day is going to be around between 1 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I, I think it'd be safe to say if I looked at maximum temperatures according to this model, again, we're just looking at one model here, uh, so it would probably be 80 degrees or less, the high temperature towards the end of next week with low humidity. Uh, let's go into 7 a.m. This is 7 a.m. right here, 7 a.m. Uh, on Saturday, September the 13th, and uh, you're talking about 30s and 40s. Uh, I'm sorry, 40s and 50s, not 30s yet, 40s and 50s across the Ozarks, 50s across central Arkansas, and some lower 60s across the south. So there you have it. I think the first true air mass that really does feel like uh, fall is uh, heading our way for the middle of the month, uh, close to the middle of the month, the 10th, 11th, and 12th, that time frame. I'm just showing you what one model run says. The next one will come out. We'll show something a little bit different. Uh, so how this all plays out uh, is just yet to be seen, but we do know that there is a strong front which should deliver some rain and then uh, cooler and drier air. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I am looking, I'm really looking forward to getting the Arkansas weather blog up and going again this uh, fall, winter, and full steam. I mean, you just don't have much to talk about in the summer months, uh, but we'll get this thing going in, in the full force here over the next uh, a few months. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yes, the winter weather contest will be unveiled later on as we head deeper into the fall months. So thank you again for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.